Hey everybody! So what I wanted to show you for this challenge was how to get started when mapping yourself out as an anime character or a cartoon character. Um, so step number one is get your reference photo ready and make sure you have it somewhere visible when you're drawing. So I chose Tsunade from Naruto, Naruto Shippuden. I got my phone right here um, so I could see my photo at all times and I'm ready to get started. So what I would highly recommend first is make sure you're using a very light pencil um, and draw super, super light um, when you first get started. You want to essentially be tickling the paper. Now, I want her to take up a good amount of space. So what I would say first is I want to do my skeleton. And I don't mean an actual skeleton, I mean kind of like an anime skeleton. Um, of, you know, those basic shapes, you know, so this is how big your head's going to be. Her shoulder's up there. She's kind of at an angle, which makes it a little more difficult. Um, if it's your first time drawing anime, maybe you want to choose something that's uh, more of a straight, straight ahead view. I got kind of these lines here to represent where her arms are. Her little slug guy. Her cloak. You take a look at where her arms are, where that elbow is. Not too far down from the elbow, that's where that belt rests. And you want to always make sure you're checking is that the right distance from each part with anime because it is such a precise type of drawing. Now that I got her belt there, I'm going to take a look and see how far her little silver shirt comes down. Right, so this part of her um, her robe is kind of lined up directly with the elbow, so that makes it easier for me to know where to start that line. So everything should be loose, super light, super fluid, nothing should be super dark or concrete. Like I said, unless you even draw in the same character over and over again, guarantee you you're gonna have to adjust and change things as you go. And looking at these shapes in the negative space really helps. So if I take a look at this triangle here, right of her robe and then even take a look how far down does that second triangle start of that negative space where her legs are right near that corner that's where her legs branch off and I'm making sure I'm paying attention for the size of that gap between her legs how far apart they are And then if I draw a straight line down from that corner part of her hair, it kind of hits the heel, you know? So I have to see, did I get that right? Almost, her heel should maybe be over a little. And this one's kind of coming out more.
you know? So at this point, I have my, my skeleton part of my anime done. And I would say I kind of ran out of room at the bottom. Um, the foot's getting cut off a little. Which I definitely don't like. You know, so that it's probably good that I made it so light because either I want to erase it or I want to just kind of part ways with that foot because I already made my crease here for where I want to end my paper. But that's okay. It's all a learning lesson. I mean, this is first time I've tried to draw, to draw her. Maybe this is my rough draft and then my final draft. I'll make sure that I either move that head up a little I don't find my paper, I draw it a little bit smaller. Um, and I can even take a look at her feet about what kind of angle that should be at. And I definitely can't part ways with her feet because most of the ninjas in this series, they wear the same shoes and she's got these cool high heel ninja shoes that she does her super kicks with that Sakura wears, wears now too. So, you know, this is definitely gonna be my my practice one but as you can see you know we can still see how she's forming it's just about getting everything laid out very lightly first because you are gonna mess up with anime it is very difficult um, but it's all about using those measurings using using those negative spaces and drawing super lightly at first until you are happy with the position that everything is at um, so yeah, so that's my advice for starting your anime drawing is getting those light lines mapped out. And then once you have everything mapped out correctly, then you want to go in bit by bit and say, okay, now I know, now that I know exactly where, um, her robe is going to be and I have everything laid out, maybe now I want to start drawing darker and I want to start adding those details in like the lines on her clothing and the shadows, right? But all of the little stuff like that shouldn't be until the very end. You don't wanna start drawing hard or doing any detail until you have everything mapped out and positioned where you wanna be. Because say I had started up here and I had done all this detail on the head and everything and then all that work would have been for nothing because then what would have happened when I got down here? Well, at that point, I've already put how much time into my drawing and now I can't fit my feet. I'd rather do my rough draft, do my loose sketch and say, oh, okay, no big deal. That took me like, what, five minutes? No problem, just get another paper and try again. So getting that loose drawing and getting everything mapped out um, is so crucial before you start adding in all those details. Um, and drawing super lightly, right? So those are my two tips. Get everything mapped out with those like basic shapes and draw super light and add those details last. Um, and for most popular anime characters, there are drawing tutorials out there for them as well, right? Um, and remember, you can adjust the playback speed and make them slower as well. Um, but my challenge to you is, you know, see if you can turn it into you. See if you can adjust that anime character and and turn that character into yourself and see how you can make it look like you. Alright guys, that's it for today. I can't wait to see how your cartoon or anime self-portraits turn out. Um, I will post my finished product of how mine turns out as well. Thanks for watching.